Malang Bakhaeju and a very warm welcome to the third installment of the IAB Insight Series for this year. My name is Rea Hueta, a marketing newbie at CU and your official Insights host. This year, our Insights theme is Embrace. With that essence, we are highlighting the current and future trends that allow us to dive deeper into creative and innovative digital opportunities. This episode focuses on e-commerce for digital media, marketing and advertising landscapes. Today, we speak to Accenture, Take A Lot, and Media24 to unpack the e-commerce opportunities and how to try to optimize in this environment. So up next, we have our first speaker for today, Mushambi Mutuma. Mushambi joined Accenture in late 2021 to serve as the sales and commerce practice lead. He is a published author, speaker, and tech leader with over 15 years of experience building brands and businesses across Africa and the US. Mushambi, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, thank you to everybody to tuning in. I'm looking forward to today's conversation. I think we've got a great group of uh, panelists. Um, but to get right into it and to, to kick off the day, um, obviously what we're discussing over the next hour is gonna be around the future of commerce. And so what I decided to do today is put together a couple of trends that we're seeing as Accenture Interactive in our own work in commerce and sales throughout the continent and globally, um, where we think things are obviously going uh, post COVID um, during the, the big shift that we've all seen. So just to kick things right off is just in terms of the opportunities that we're seeing directly in South Africa. And I think South Africa presents quite a unique um, environment as we're all well aware. And, and post COVID things have shifted and, and some of these things we'll know and, and some of these things I think you'll find quite interesting. One of the best things that I found is that 14% of South Africans um, make up 60% of the online spend. Of course, this is due to them being high income earners. But what we found is that on average, these customers spend kind of two to four times more than the average South African. And I think there's a real opportunity here when we're thinking about our strategies and thinking about our targeting, that there's a sub segment inside an overall segment that is really growing and scaling within commerce. The other reality is kind of post COVID, what we've seen is 37% of South Africans said that they're shopping more online. Um, the line of take a lot deliveries uh, right outside of my own house is a uh, is fair point to that. And the reality is they're staying there. They haven't gone back. So we're, we're, we're definitely in the new normal. I think for myself as a consumer as well, it's very important how brands need to harness the power of community and how you guys do real-time production is very important. But thank you so much for that. And up next, we have our second speaker, Gideon Granville. Gideon is Head of Business Develop Development for Take Love Group, where he has been part of the executive team since 2014. In his role, he was responsible for launching Take A Lot's advertising business. Gideon, welcome. We are so excited to hear more from you about e-commerce advertising. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, welcome. Thanks, I'm really excited to be uh, talking today about uh, uh, one of the, I guess, most exciting trends uh, around the world in, 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 in commerce at the moment. And uh, uh, we've been very lucky and take a lot to kind of be at the center of, uh, of all of these uh, emerging trends. So just to talk about e-commerce in South Africa in particular, um, e-commerce was actually growing strongly before COVID or something um, that uh, doesn't uh, people don't necessarily uh, realize but COVID drastically accelerated that growth um, so if you look at um, South Africa um, currently e-commerce is about 4.2 percent of total retail sales um, according to Euromonitor which is, a, is about a market size of 45 billion rand and over the next five years that's expected to get to over a 100 billion rand. Now that's that's actually South Africa's lagging a lot of the kind of comparable markets. So there's a long, long growth path for e-commerce still ahead of us. Thank you. Our next speaker is Rian Sunny. Rian is the head of programmatic advertising for Media24, a division of NASPERS. He strategically placed himself to a multiple of different facets of the industry, and he has deep knowledge and vast experience in the programmatic digital advertising space. Good morning, Rian. Please, we'd love to hear more about programmatic e-commerce from your side. Morning, Rian. Thank you for having me. 
moving moving forward to mine. Um, so I'm speaking about programmatic in the e-commerce space. So let's let's dive into it. This is what you guys are here for, right? So why why programmatic and what does it have to do with e-commerce? You know, um, so e-commerce has given both suppliers and customers the ability to interact and make purchases regardless of physical location or warehouse size or inventory space. And customers can now purchase the entire grocery list from sitting at home without leaving their, their beddings, uh, stay seated at the gaming desks and order hot food within the hour. You can browse millions of products as you saw and take a lot and, and have them delivered to your doorstep. So customers are quickly going from in-store to online. Um, as you saw in um, Shambi's slides as well, digital commerce is now a tool, you know, it's 40% it's, uh, of South Africa's, um, you know, uh, South Africans make up 60% of online spend, which you can see now there's a lot of growth for us to still go through. And, uh, and that's, that's exciting, you know. So com convenience is important when transacting online. And as, as, as we shift towards that, uh, to the online space uh, in e-commerce, e we, we want to have the best experience online. Uh, but with so many options at our fingertips, you know, uh, customization and personalization is detrimental to keep us there. And that is it from us. Thank you so much for the speakers for coming. Thank you all to the audiences for coming as well. See you all same time, same place. Bye.